So after years of hand cutting bee boxes on a box joint jig and getting mediocre results with some gaps in between the joints, I've decided to get uh, a flush trim bit, a half inch flush trim bit, quarter inch shank. This is what it looks like. It has the bearing on the top that spins, half inch diameter router bit that's designed to be used with a template. This is actually a dovetail template with a half inch spacing between the fingers which fits nicely for half inch box joints. If you put a flush trim bit on there instead of a dovetail bit. I built this, uh, just give you an idea what this looks like. I built this uh, little rig here. Clamps onto the table saw. It's got my metal jig on top. What you do is you take a a B-Box board, you slide it up against the bottom of the jig. The first piece lines up flush with the edge of the first finger here. And then you run your router in between each of the fingers. And then on your next piece, you start him at the edge. Oop, where'd the camera go? There we are. You start him at the left-hand edge of the next finger. And then you router your pieces out and you get a nice strong fit. All right, if you're interested to see my previous setup, this is a router with a bit in there. It gets mounted uh, to the router table. You can imagine uh, if I put these screws in, drew the router up, the bit would stick out of the table. You would put this board with guide over the router hole, and then you'd take this uh, homemade sled and position it just behind where the router bit would stick through. And what you do is you would uh, take your board, your B-Box board, and you'd stand it vertical, and then you would slide the unit over the router bit and then back through and then you'd move it over one you'd imagine that these haven't been cut yet you'd move it over one onto the finger and then run it through and continue to move it over and back through the problem with this setup it worked great for the first couple months and then over time the sled started getting a little bit of wobble you could see it has some slack in there and so what that means is each pass that comes through, I wasn't getting an exact half inch cut. It was sometimes a little more, a little less, depending upon which way the sled was aligned. And uh, rather than rebuild this sled, uh, uh, I thought I would give this metal template a try. Uh, thought there is if the uh, metal template works, the metal is not gonna wear out uh, nearly as fast as the wood has over time and I might get uh, tighter box joints uh, for a lot longer. I blame the cameraman there, getting it out of 
out of frame. Let's see if I can do this again in frame for you. So this is first time using the homemade jig. Just getting her set up on the very first try. And those are pretty tight joints in there. Much better than I could do previously. And uh, previously I spent about oh, 10, 12 minutes uh, per side just trying to get it cut out and it would fit uh, together pretty loose. This I was able to zip through in uh, under a minute uh, per side and it's a pretty strong tight fit so I'm pretty happy with it. Thanks for watching.